is the case uh, for uh, the legacy banks uh, wherever you look in the world, whether it is in China, Southeast Asia, uh, or in Europe or North America, considering that NIMS are under pressure, you've got non-performing loans rising, you've got dividends under pressure as well, and then, of course, you've got the regulatory uh, issues over in the United States, uh, potentially with a change of administration, uh, and you have the entire sector under siege from all these digital upstarts. I think it's a terrible business model, and I see absolutely no reason to own it, except that, of course, when the long end of the U.S. bond market goes up and the short end does not, people say or think that banks will make a turn out of this by intermediating between the maturities of short-term debt and long-term debt. So that's the kind of bond scenario. But in reality, you have described a doomsday scenario for banks. They are now almost public utilities. They are tools of public policy as governments increasingly interfere with central banks and central banks increasingly interfere with credit. And these, these banks are seen as playing a social role above a shareholder role. Their job is to keep the supply side afloat during uh, extremely dangerous and difficult times of epidemics, etc. Uh, it is really very secondary uh, as to how they will make any money. I, I would suggest that the best parallel between banks uh, and another economic agent is actually like a power utility, almost regulated out of existence except for a thin margin, which makes a small return for shareholders going forward, and that's it.